Welcome back. Today I'm just going to kind of show you around a vehicle that I haven't really spent much time around uh, since COVID started. And it's one of those ones that it's actually better than I remembered it, which, uh, which it's always nice to have that. I hadn't seen it in like six months, came back in, and I remembered it worse than what it actually is. So I'm going to kind of give you a walk around. It definitely does have some problems, but it's not as bad as I remembered. I've also got some video of this thing off-roading, so I'm not sure if I'll make that part of this video or just throw it, uh, or make it its own. Alright, so this is my 1983 Dodge Ram Charger. It does have a 77 or 78 front clip on it. This truck has definitely been wrecked before. Uh, the winch bumper, that's new for basically for this weekend. Didn't even end up using the winch, but um, did get into a little bit of mud here and there. So I started you out on the good side. As we walk around this side, we start to see some more problems like, you know, the big old rust holes there. It's riding on a set of 311050 Super Swamper IROX. Um, got a real good deal on those, that's why they're on there. Not necessarily my favorite tire. So the person that I bought this from had a rear tire fall, fall off and wad this corner all up. That's as far as I've gotten in the, in the hopes of repairing it. Um, I pulled and straightened on it the best I could before I started cutting but it was pretty rusty so that wasn't really working real well anyway and uh, at the end of the day I don't really care if it's perfectly straight I would like to fill that hole and make it look better but I don't really care if this thing is show quality in fact I'd rather it's not um, out in the back so the I've got my cooler still in here I need to unpack that got my tools uh, camping chair, sleeping bag. Up at the front there is the dog bed and his water bowl. And if you are familiar with these Ram chargers, I've got a floor, the floor extended out. So normally that would drop down into where the uh, back seat foot wall is, right about where the, the slope of that wheel arch goes down. It just continues straight down into there and goes down to the same level as the front seat. Um, but I've got a piece of plywood basically. I've got some stuff under that too for storage. If I needed it, I could get to it. Luckily I didn't need it. But basically the way this works is I pull the cooler out, I pull the toolboxes out, I set the dog bed up on one side, this behemoth here sleeps on one side, I get like a real small area on the other one and uh, I camp right in this. So when I do that, I slide the passenger seat, or I flip the passenger seat forward like it's, an, like it's intended to do, and then the driver's seat I just slide forward, and there's pretty much barely enough room for me to do that. Um, I'm not a small person, but this does work. And I don't have it in here right now, but I also have like a shelf unit type of deal that's also a flat front all the way up to those rear uh, all the way up to the rear of the front seats but it's about yay tall has a drawer that's a full full six feet long on one side and kind of an open cubby on the other and uh, that one is for like a little bit longer trip um, it works real good for that this setup here with just a piece of plywood that works real nice on a shorter trip like I did this weekend uh, got kind of the custom bumper there. This side actually looks pretty good. So this is the good side. It's got the 70s hood on it. Under the hood, I've got a, this is a 360 Magnum. I re-drilled these heads to handle an LA intake. Got a set of long tube headers on it. Uh, 
factory air cleaner, Edelbrock carb, a little bit of a cam, all that good stuff. It runs pretty strong. Um, actually, it runs rather strong. But runs good, gets terrible fuel economy like you might expect. that's the underhood back behind that it's got a 727 transmission 208 transfer case and then 410 gears so one of the big things that i need to do to this thing is uh this needs this needs an overdrive transmission so if you've been watching my channel that black truck that i decided is too rusty to do anything with it's going to donate its transmission for this as it sits right now 55 mile an hour is like 2700 rpm or somewhere in that range lockup converter would lower it some but overdrive and lockup will be even better so yeah it just it did just drive several hundred miles this weekend and do some off-roading so it's uh it's working pretty good i'm actually pretty happy with this thing right now um, there are a couple little things that I want to take care of like just make things like you can see that grill flapping in the breeze there's stuff that's just not really finished on it um, I've been picking away at it it was pretty rough when I bought it it's getting better but it's still not there yet I would like a little bit more lift maybe like two inches of lift just so it has a little bit of little bit more ground clearance and uh and will be about perfect thanks for watching and i'll see you later